Hi everyone, I'm Siad Malim from Soma Academy and today I'm going to show you how to use the cosine rule. In a previous video, I discussed how to use the sine rule. If you have not watched that video, I will highly encourage you to watch that before moving to this one. The link to that video is in the description below. Let us get started. The cosine rule is such that you can use any of these three formulas. A squared is equal to P squared plus C squared minus 2PC, 2 times P times C, cos A. Or you could use B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cos B. Or alternatively, you can use c squared is equal to a squared plus p squared minus 2ab cos c. In fact, all these three formulas here, the three of them are the same. So you could use any of them to derive the other two. So let's assume that we want to use a squared is equal to P squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C cos A. Okay, moving forward, we would be using this formula. Let's start with an example. So, let's say we have a triangle. We have a triangle A, B, C, and we are given this angle, angle B, as 30 degree, and side A is side A is 21, and side C is 24. Okay, so definitely we have to use cosine. But let me say why we cannot use sine rule here. We use sine rule. We use sine rule when we have an angle, an angle, and it is opposite side. When we have an angle and it is opposite side. Okay. Whenever you have an angle and it is opposite side and another side or another angle, then you will use the sine rule. In this case, we have an angle, but we don't have it is opposite side. For example, we don't have side B. We have side, side A, the side A here, but we don't have the angle, angle A. Similarly, we have we don't have angle C, but we have side C. So Whenever you have a triangle where you are given two sides and the angle in between those two sides Then you have to use cosine rho Okay, you can use sine rho because You use sine rho when you have an angle and it is opposite side and any other side or any other angle okay so it's very important to know when to use cosine rule or when to use sine rule the first instance in my example today is we use so we said we have a triangle a b c where the angle in between was 30 degree this was 21 and that was 24 and we want to find side B. Because we want to find side B, we can use the formula for side B. And that is B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus two times A and C cos of the angle we are looking for, which is B. Cos, we are not looking for an angle, but the angle of B is always what goes there. Okay, the side that you're looking for, its angle is what goes there, okay? We are looking for B. B squared is equal to 
what is a a is given us this is side a this is side c a is given us 21 21 squared plus what is c c is 24 so 24 squared minus 2 multiplied by 24 2 multiplied by 21 times 24 cos of angle cos of angle 30 which is given okay so b squared is equal to 21 times 21 what is 21 multiplied by 21 that is uh, 2 4 441 so that is 441 plus 24 times 24 I believe that is 576 but let me confirm 6 9 uh, multiply that is 8 this is 4 so that is 576 minus 2 times that is 42 multiplied by 24 cos 30 okay so, so this will be b squared is equal to 10 17 minus 1008 cos 30 what is cos 30 okay so let me write it here b squared is equal to 101 minus 1008 multiplied by 0 0.866 so that will give me this p squared is equal to 1017 minus 1008 multiplied by 0 0.866 so when you multiply these two okay 1017 minus 872.95 okay so let me do that. so so b squared is equal to 144.05 but in order to find just b we square root both sides so ln is equal to what is the square root of 144.5 if you just ignore that so 144 square rooted is just 12 so the value of b is 12 okay let me show you another example where you have to use cosine rho. Say you have a triangle A, B, and C, where you have side C is 7, side B is 5, side A is 8. In this case, you cannot use co you cannot use sine rho. Why? Because sine rule is such that A over sine A is equal to B over sine B, is which is equal to C over sine C. Because you don't have any angle given in this example, you cannot use sine rule. However, you can use cosine rule. Because the formula for cosine rule is such that say for example we want to find angle b so then you have to say b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2 times a times c cos of b the angle you the side you are looking for its angle always goes there okay so because we have b we have a we have c the only thing that is missing is the angle so we can use cosine rule if you are given a triangle where you have all the sides but no angle then you have to use cosine rule okay let's go ahead what is b in this case b is 5 5 squared is equal to what is a a is 8 8 squared plus what is c c is 7 7 squared minus 2 times multiplied by what is a a is 8 multiplied by c what is c c is 7 cos of b okay 
So 5 squared is 25 is equal to 8 times 8 is 64 plus 49 minus 8 times 7 is 56 times 2. I think that's 112 cos of B. Okay. So what do you have here? 25 is equal to when you add these two, what do you get? That is 3, 1, 1, 3. Okay. Minus 1, 1, 2 cos B. So this is in order to solve for cos B, it's like solving an equation. Okay. It's like solving an equation. So what we do is we subtract 113 from both sides of the equation. These two will cancel. 25 minus 113 is equal to minus 112 cos of B. So when you subtract these two, what do you get? That is roughly, I think, negative 88, yeah? Is equal to minus 112 cos of b in order to find cos of b you divide both sides by minus 112 minus 112 that is cancel so okay so cos of b is equal to the negatives cancel 88 divided by 112 so for you to find angle B, what you have to do is cos inverse of 88 divided by 112. Use your calculator to find this. Let me do that on my end. So angle B, angle B is equal to roughly 38.2 degrees. Okay? So that is angle angle B so angle B is angle B is roughly let's just say 38 degree so now now that you have an angle and a side that is opposite to it you can use sine row to find this angle because you have also its opposite side use cosine rule when you have a triangle with all the three sides given but no angle then you have to use cosine rule you also use cosine rule when you are given two sides and the angle in between those two sides okay i hope this was helpful uh, thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a like until then, happy learning.